The next thing for us to cover would be some of your basic uh, text styles, right? How to style up your text a little bit, right? So like how to add emphasis through like italicizing or make something bold or uh, strike through. And that's pretty much it for Markdown, but really you shouldn't need a whole lot anyway. Like with headers, there's actually more than one way and uh, that's fine. Uh, I will show you them and, and show you, I guess, why as well, right? So here we've got Markdown and maybe we want to, maybe we want to italicize it since it's, you know, the name, right? So we can italicize it by putting an asterisk on each side of it. If we want to make it bold, we put two asterisks, right? If we want to strike through, then we use the little squiggly bit. Ooh, that didn't work. Two, ah, two squiggly bits, right? So the two squiggly bits. Now they're a little hard to read here. Let me try increasing, there we go. They're a little easier to see now. So that's actually the, the tilde is what that's called. There we go. I had to make my browser a little bigger to see the two panes still. So it's a little squiggly line, right? So if I put two of them, then it makes a strike through. Now we can combine these two, right? So maybe, uh, right, so we're talking about markdown, which is a markup language. So maybe I have markup there, but I've corrected it to be markdown, right? Because that's a specific markup language we're using. So I can bold it. Now what if, what if I want bold and italicized, right? So then do I do, do I do three of these? Does that work? That does work, right? It looks a little weird though, right? So if you don't like how that looks, you can also mix and match underscores. So you can use asterisks or underscores. Now for a little while, uh, there was some uh, disagreement on whether or not GitHub would allow underscores or whether they only reserved underscores for like programming languages because sometimes you'll see them used in programming languages instead, but currently, and for a while now, GitHub allows both. So let's just play with this a little bit just to show that it all works. Right, so that's, that's fun. Now, you do wanna make sure that you don't like open this tag and then close it and then close the other tag, right? You want it like, you wanna keep them together, right? So that's, that didn't work, right? Because it's looking for, it found, it found the closing of this tag before this one. So it didn't realize that that was supposed to work that way. By moving it, it opens this, then it opens this. It is looking for the closure of this first before it looks for that, right? So close the most recent one you opened before you close another one. Now there is something else to be aware of. When you are using these, notice there are no spaces, right? So we put spaces up here with the titles. We don't put any spaces with the styles. So if you put a space, then it doesn't work. We can see here that it, uh, it didn't like that, right? So next to language or next to the word often, if we put a space there, it puts the asterisks back. And the reason for that is uh, an asterisk with a space can actually be used for a different thing in Markdown. So if we put an asterisk here in front of this and a space, notice it's actually put a little bullet there, right? So that's, that's why, right? So you put no space if you want it to be a style. Now notice it also didn't like that asterisk being in front of the, the heading tag, right? So if we want to stylize the heading, then make sure you put it after these hashtags, these pound signs. It's not really that difficult, but it can be a little tricky. And if you're like a little nervous about working with some of this stuff, it I don't know, it could be confusing or, or concerning, I suppose. But you know, basically like, don't panic, right? Like, just if it doesn't work, try again, it's all right. Although actually, are we, did we, did we lose it all together? No, there that is. Oh, there the other one is. Uh, they didn't stay together. 
There we go. Right, so markdown with big, markdown a uh, heading, a header for tag that's been italicized, right? So styling's really not too hard. You just have to make sure that you don't get things out of order and that you don't accidentally put spaces in there, right? So it's not too bad. And just to confirm that all of this works also in GitHub, let's copy all of that. Let's hop over to my GitHub document. We'll edit it. We'll paste it in. Right, we can do save changes. And here, right, you can see bold and italicized and bold and italicized, right? You can see the strike throughs, right? No problems there. Everything looks fine, right? And so it doesn't mind the mixing of underscores and asterisks like it used to. Now, if we hop over here, this may not be ready yet, right? Because I've told you before, it takes a moment for GitHub pages to reflect the changes. So there we go, right? And so everything works fine here too, right? So whether we used underscores or asterisks, it doesn't mind. It's, it's completely okay with it.